Hey guys. Don't be surprised if halfway through this video, I just go inside because it is like 90 degrees out right now. But welcome back. Today I wanted to make this video about Pollock because Housing Assignments just came out and my video about my Pollock dorm tour has been blowing up because everyone gets Pollock for their rooming assignment and starts like freaking out. So I'm making this video today to give everyone some hope as to why Pollock is great and it's not that bad and you'll be fine. And before I get into all the reasons why Pollock isn't so bad, I'm gonna answer two big questions that I keep getting on my dorm tour video. And if you haven't watched it yet, go watch it. So one big question I keep getting is what size bed risers I got. To be honest, I don't even know. All I know is on Amazon, there's like a stackable pack where you can make it shorter or taller based on what you want. But it was just like, they were like little cubes, um, nothing special. And the other question is about no air conditioning. So honestly, if you bring three to four fans, and I mean that three to four, one is not gonna cut it, two is not gonna cut it because it does get very hot the first few weeks back. But if you do bring three to four fans, you'll be okay. You just gotta get through the first few weeks. The rest of the school year is totally fine. And if you're watching this video and you're moving into Penn State or any college in the next month, I'd really, really recommend watching my video on best advice for your first week of college because I really put in there everything I wish I knew and if I knew it would have really helped me out that first week. So definitely give that a watch. So number one as to why Pollock is not so bad after all is it is the best location out of all the housing options that you can get. It is centrally located. You're not far from the stadium. You're close to pretty much all the gyms. They're all walkable, easy. You're close to downtown, close to all your classes. As you probably know already, Penn State's a huge walking campus. So being so close to everything, that's a gift. And Pollock is also close to the hub, which is kind of a big, huge building where everyone does a lot of work during the day, but it's noisy. Like there's food in there. Pollock is also like a five minute walk from the hub. So I used it all the time when I was doing late night studying or homework and I didn't want to like be in my dorm room. I would go to the hub until like 12 or 1 a.m. It never closes, it's open 24 seven. And I was only a five minute walk from home. So that's also great. My third reason is the floors are really social. Obviously it's really dependent on who lives on your floor and kind of the whole vibe that everyone has. But in my case, we had an all girls floor and then there were like three boys floors, three girls floors. And a lot of times we would do game nights together, watch movies, TV shows. It's definitely not a super quiet, boring place to live. There's always something going on and you can always run into people and talk, which I kind of liked. Number four is there's also huge closets. I tell everyone that. Everyone wants East renovated and they're nice, but their closets are absolutely tiny. And the ones in Pollock are huge. When I got in my dorm room and I looked at it, I, I was like, I didn't bring enough clothes. I could fit so many more in here. And there's like racks for your shoes at the bottom. So even if you don't want to put a ton of clothes in your closet, it's also great storage for everything else. I had my clarinet in there, my yoga mat. So even though the Pollock rooms are on the smaller side, the closet has great storage. And number five, one of the best things about Pollock that no one ever talks about is you're close to two dining halls. So we have five on campus and there's a Pollock dining hall, but we're also right next to South and that's South dining hall. So Pollock's more of your, like your generic dining hall, you go up and swipe, but South has, there's a smoothie bowl place, a taco place, you can make your own sandwich, salad, or you can do a regular swipe in for the dining hall. So I went there all the time when I just didn't want like normal dining hall food. I would go and like just get a sandwich to go or a taco salad. And they're both in equal distance. So you can literally go to either one and they're both super close. Tons of options and everyone else just kind of stays in their own dining hall but we're very lucky because we have two very close to us. Pollock also recently just renovated their whole dining room, dining hall, and like the ground floor. So I would do work there a lot. They have great places to eat or study. They also have a huge kind of recreation room with a ton of chairs, TVs, um, ping pong table. I think there's some games in the back. So that part's definitely newer. And the number one best thing about Pollock is the market. So just about every dining hall has a little market where you can use your meal plan or Lion Cash and you can buy, you know, little snacks or you can buy like a grab and go salad, yogurt parfait. 
but Pollux was just redone. It is huge. It literally looks like a mini grocery store. It has every stack imaginable. I know the other markets are pretty small and limited selection, but ours is huge. And at the end of the day, everyone just loves food. So I used that market quite a bit. So I'll wrap this video up now. I wanted to kind of make it short, but I also wanted to acknowledge the fact that everyone just got their housing. Everyone's definitely upset um, if they didn't get what they wanted. But I just wanted to remind everyone that I also requested East and South, I think. And I ended up with Pollock. I was pretty upset and so was my roommate. But once we got in there and decorated, we actually ended up loving it there and I know you will too. And even though I'm not at State College right now, if there's any other questions about Pollock in general, things sh you should bring to school, please just drop them in the comments. I've been trying to answer everyone's comments from my dorm tour video and trying to keep up with that, but I can also make a Q&A video about general college questions. But if you are an incoming freshman into college, especially if you're a Penn State student, definitely subscribe to my channel because I do all kinds of videos based on advice, things that I would buy, um, day in the life videos. So you can come follow along my college journey, but I'm primarily trying to help you guys with your transition so it's a little easier than mine was. All right, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.